The Alinsky reading is one of the more colorful readings we'll have in the course, and, but I encourage you not to let the uh, kind of the informality of his language, um, the, the kind of ideas around community organizing to put you off. He is really telling us something very important. Um, he repeats much of what Carnegie talks about in terms of speaking within the frame of reference of your listener, but he adds a, a one very important idea, and I've never found another source that actually explains it as coherently as Alinsky does. And this, I, this is the idea of the joint experience. The joint experience is the description of a commitment persuasion <clears throat> process in the context of a conversation. And this is, in fact, how we most often use uh, commitment process. So in Solansic, he talks a lot about listening behavior and behavior leading to brief, belief formation. But the behavior we most commonly are going to be involved with in our management role and as we're trying to exercise leadership, the behavior we're going to uh, elicit from people is, is comment in the expression of ideas, uh, comment on uh, courses of action, and it's going to incur, occur in the context of, of persuasion. Uh, Alinsky's in the context of conversation. Uh, Linsky's uh, persuasion is by far the most powerful, the more natural the conversation, the more conversational the process, and we really want to understand this. Uh, this is a very powerful technique we will use ex extensively, uh, when, especially in applications that require belief change. Uh, it certainly is, is used uh, very frequently in interactions with employees and getting what we would call buy-in from employees is a, a communication process, a commitment process. And that is um, uh, this technique. But also as we get engaged with um, decision processes in organizations and we're interested in uh, constructing coalitions, getting people to work with us, uh, we're going to also be using the Alinsky communication technique. I'd like you to look for um, what is different uh, about a joint experience as Alinsky discusses it in comparison with, an, with normal persuasion. I think you'll find uh, it, it useful to look at the connection between the joint experience and commitment. I want you to try and understand how joint experience works. It's, it's a conversation. What, what, what is the key to making some conversations highly persuasive and, and others not? And uh, also really think about, is this joint experience something we can do on purpose? What is the leader's control point in the joint experience? How do we make it arrive at uh, a destination, a commitment to action, kind of beyond the, the persuasion part that is, um, you know, something that we would like to achieve and something that, you know, the whole notion of commitment is the person uh, is doing it because they believe in it, they've internalized it, they think it's the right thing to do. Uh, and we want to we wanna be involved in helping people arrive at that point. Um, we will have some discussion because there's always some set of issue of is getting our own way, is it manipulation? And in most instances it's not. It's just helping people problem solve and find a course of action that's productive for them and productive for us.